quickly moving from one earnings call to another, GMR Airports reported a steady operational performance in the quarter gone by. High finance costs, however, dent the bottom line. Net debt has also increased by about 21%. We've got Saurabh Chavla, ED Finance and Strategy of uh, the GMR Group with us. Uh, thanks, Saurabh, for joining in and uh, wish you a very happy Diwali to begin with. It's been a steady quarter, uh, you know, uh, and also it's been uh, fairly eventful, I guess. Aero tariffs grew in the top two assets. Uh, revenue growth in three airports, however, has been modest. So can you just walk us through some of the key trends uh, that you observed in the quarter gone by? We are not a Q1, Q play. Uh, we are a long-term play. On a Q1, Q basis, we always have to take into account also the <clears throat> seasonality. So in quarter two, the air traffic dips a bit which gets reflected in the aero revenues. So that's what has happened. Uh, but if you look at on an annual basis, uh, you know, our gross income on an on year to year basis uh, for the half yearly, it has grown by 19%. Uh, you know, so that itself reflects a very robust uh, 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 growth uh, year on year. Even if I were to look Q and Q, uh, you know, uh, we've grown almost 20%. So I think uh, you need to keep that into account, uh, uh, the seasonality aspect of it in our in our revenue capturing, uh, given the air traffic uh, flows uh, uh, during the year, during the quarter. Mm. Uh, no, got that. Could you tell us, uh, explain to us and our viewers, what is the role of AERA, that's the Airport's Economic Regulatory Authority, in determining the role of tariffs in aero and non-aero segments? What are the key risks that are playing out? And what has been your appeal with respect to cargo handling fee structure? Where do you stand currently? No, no, we don't stand anywhere. AERA is the regulator. AERA determines the tariff, right? So... Uh, there have been some disputes on the interpretation of certain regulations. And based on that, uh, you know, airport operators had uh, had approached the courts. Uh, and these were based on certain precedents of the past where the Supreme Court had opined that a regulator can't go against its against a, uh, an arbitral award by TDSAT, right? Uh, all that the court has done, and we went... Uh, based on those precedents, we went to the court saying that DERA cannot, uh, you know, uh, uh, appeal against it. They should, they cannot fight against it. And and, uh, and the court opined that no, uh, ERA uh, as a regulator has the right to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to fight that uh, on based on merits, and that's what they had uh, they had highlighted. So the confusion in the market came from certain media reports, which said that ERA is now, or it imputed that ERA will now also determine non-ERO tariffs. Non-ERO tariffs are not determined by 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 ERA; they are determined uh, from free market, right? But there are certain elements in in the airport play where the ERA plays a role uh, to bring reasonableness uh, in 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 that, and that's how they 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 opine in many of their opinions. Well, it's a very significant transaction as far as the holding company is concerned with uh, the. Uh... With earlier entering, explain to us the transaction. Earlier, how many lenders were there? What was the cost of borrowing? And what were the finance costs for the promoter group? How will it change from year on? What is the percentage of the promoter pledge on GMR that will come down? All are something which is either confidential but uh, and something which will deter be determined in the future. But overall, let me let me highlight. Uh, the substantial portions of 6,000 crores of debt which the promoters have in their promoter entity, which is GPL, that is getting refinanced by very long-term debt, uh, which will be provided by RDR. This is actually, honestly speaking, a game-changing uh, you know, <clears throat> transaction because usually in India, the promoter debt, which is backed by loan against shares or the shares of the entity, listed entities underlying the promoter entity, uh, they are anything between 18 months to three years in duration. And the, the costs of that are pretty much in the high teens. Uh, you know, the NBFC market in India 
had uh, had collapsed uh, with the collapse of ILFS, and hence the cost of financing had gone up sharply uh, post the uh, ILFS uh, uh, issue. Uh, so all that we are doing is we are now removing that refinancing risk of you know every eighteen months, every thirty six months of refinancing that we had to do uh, every three years. Sorry, uh, yeah, thirty six months. Uh, that has been removed and with a very long-term capital provider, a very stable capital provider, we are refinancing that whole uh, uh, debt of a little more than 6,000 crores or 6,300 crores to be more precise. The cost of that, which I had already highlighted to you, uh, usually is anything between 15 to 20% is depending upon the lender, depending upon the time frame depending upon at what point of time you're taking those loans, those will compress uh, sharply uh, in, in, this new, in this new financing, and it will come down to the, uh, the low teens. Uh, so that is uh, a very big uh, attribute that will come from this uh, uh, new transaction of refinancing the total debt. Okay, all right, got that, uh, Mr. Chavla. So, uh, just finally, do tell us about the Delhi airport as well. When does the tariff hike come through, and what is the status right now with the regulators? So, as we've been highlighting, uh, you know, <clears throat> over the last uh, two odd quarters, the the ta the final tariff is expected to be notified by the regulator in the fourth quarter of this fiscal year. So, in the time frame between. Jan and March, and most likely in March, uh, that will be notified. Uh, very soon, uh, there will be a consultative paper that will be put by uh, by the by the regulator in 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 the, in the public space uh, after they have determined uh, based based on the maths, based on their due diligence, based on the recommendation of their independent consultants. They will put out a consultative paper uh, which will indicate. Uh, you know what the tariff is, and uh, it will be for everybody to to see. So, but the final notification uh, will be there uh, by Feb March of uh, next uh, calendar year. That's that's our uh, estimate. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us and running us through all of that detail. So that's GMR Airport stocks up about one percent. The high, by the way, I was just checking. Uh, on GMR was 104 rupees. So it's come off very sharply. Uh, so 80 odd rupees, but uh, coming off the lows over the last two trading sessions now.